Here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground for a very special segment in downtown Seattle, Washington at Blue Box Group. Um, recently uh, acquired by IBM, which has been uh, great for them. Jesse Proudman has been on theCUBE a number of times, won CUBE Madness uh, last March, and really kind of a, a personification of what's going on at OpenStack. And, and really, we're excited to be up in the Northwest. We came up here for LinuxCon and, and OpenStack Seattle. So excited to come spend a few minutes here at the office. So my first guest is Hernan Alvarez, Chief Product Officer. Welcome. You're welcome, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for having us. So. Um, I was looking at your at your LinkedIn as a little bit of, of, of prep for this, and you've got that startup bug, I can tell. So you've, yeah. you've been in a few of them, and yeah. now you're here, and, and, and clearly a, a successful um, cap, or what do we call it? A, uh, Acquisition? Well, what was that? Yeah, but a... Um, exit? <laughs> not an exit, a, it's a... Uh, a cash infusion for you yeah, guys, uh, and, and a resource infusion. The, the best kind of cash infusion. Absolutely, so yeah. congratulations on that. Let's talk a little bit about what makes Blue Box um, successful. What makes it kind of a special place? Yeah. We walked around the office a little bit before we got started. A little good vibe, a yeah. lot of activity. You've seen a lot of startups. What's so special about this one? Well, I think uh, it's passion for the space that we're in. Uh, everyone here is is really into infrastructure and infrastructure services. Everyone, everyone's come up through uh, engineering or systems engineering or or network engineering. So um, it's a continual passion for the work that you're in uh, and what you love to do. I've been in operations and product management for 20 years. It's what I always love to do. I, I love building data centers and, and cloud services. So you just put that on top of an opportunity in a marketplace with, with OpenStack and private cloud and you have a recipe for success. Yeah, and really just, Jesse already had a vision that he's, that he's talked about before in the OpenStack Silicon Valley last year about you know really providing it as a service, trying yeah. to really separate the, the ugly stuff from the customer and really deliver to them the value. So how do you, you know, kind of what's your pursuits from the product point of view? What's your roadmap look like? What have you done this work? Where are you going next? Yeah, so the idea here is that we have a really seamless um, experience for the customer. They should be able to consume the type of infrastructure services that they need to consume to satisfy their internal customers. You know, IT is changing and they, need to, they have internal customers and they have services they need to deliver, whether it's networking storage or value-added services, database as a service or platform as a service. The idea is that you can consume that in the model that makes the most sense for your business. And what we're doing now uh, with the Blue Box acquisition inside IBM is we're delivering that across three different fronts, in a, an on-premises solution, in a dedicated host solution, and also in a public cloud solution. So really giving the customer what they need in order to be successful, and that makes us successful ultimately. Yeah, and it's it's great you bring that up because we're obviously, we're here, this is arguably the home of, of the public cloud, right? Amazon is just down the street, AWS and, and Microsoft Azure, but as we hear over and over again at these enterprise events, um, it's really kind of workload specific, which of those solutions uh, is the one that's right for whatever you're trying to do, and that might even change over time. That's so it right. sounds like you guys are really offering really the choices based on OpenStack, depending on whatever the customer wants for that particular workload. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And, and really focusing on, on their needs, ultimately what it boils down to is a lot of it has to do with a, a consistent service delivery for the customer, and that's, that's really important. Yeah, and talk about what, how customers are viewing cloud. It's been around for a while, right? AWS has been around for a while. The whole shadow IT thing is, is kind of gone. We never even really hear that phrase yeah. much anymore, but really it's the value and some of the attributes that cloud-based computing uh, deliver that is, are the things that customers are really looking for. So how's that kind of changing what you see on the customer side and the way that they develop, deploy, uh, and go to market with applications? Yeah, so I think you're, you're still seeing a transition in IT. There's still a long ways to go. Um, there's a lot of the early adopters that jumped on uh, public cloud early, and there's a lot of customers that are doing that for specific workloads. There's still a lot of legacy IT workloads that are in transition. They're either going to be rebuilt into, into greenfield applications with, with, with new providers uh, or new solutions. Um, and and that's, a, that's a long transition, but you're seeing, you're seeing it happen. The people are starting to put cloud first inside of IT. Uh, in terms of their rolled roll out, and it has a lot to do with, with distribution and delivery mechanisms that customers don't necessarily want to own their own data centers anymore. They might want to own their data, own data centers, uh, but the idea is that is that they, they are moving forward. There's still a long ways to go. I think, um, I think there's opportunities for the next uh, five to 10 years to continue to shape that um, right. in really, really uh, important ways. Yeah, at least. And now, you've, and now you're part of IBM. So yes. 
uh, from your point of view as a chief product officer, what does yeah. that mean for you in terms of, yeah. of resources and in terms of development, yeah. in terms of go to market, in terms of marketing? I mean, clearly that, that's a huge opportunity. At the other, at, on the other extreme, right, anytime you get acquired by a big company, there's people are afraid, are we gonna lose our culture? Are we gonna get just kind of, kind of washed out? So how, how's that been going in terms of you know, excitement in terms of resources that you can bring to bear? And then how's it been going kind of yeah. culturally in terms of how IBM is treating you within their portfolio? Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty interesting. IBM has uh, made a large tra large scale transition themselves, right, to thinking about cloud first and customer first and, and really focusing on the, on the five to 10 year roadmap. And this is one of the reasons why they bought uh, Blue Box because of the fact that we're looking at, at a, multi, a multifaceted service delivery to be able to help their customers through that life cycle and transition. Uh, and so bringing Blue Box in helps build that seed and foundation. And, and, for, and to your point about resources, they're layering in tremendous amounts of resources, development and program management, product management, and marketing and sales. It's a you know, 400,000, 450,000 person company and they have experience and resources that are over 100 years old, right? They, they, right, they, have, right. they, they founded modern computing as we know it today. They founded um, the PC. They, they, they're at the forefront of this and so they're able to bring in everything from kernel, uh, kernel experts and storage experts and networking experts um, into, this, into this new paradigm of cloud computing and that's really, really important. It's great to have um, the, the energy that we have, Blue Box, a uh, new way of thinking about cloud delivery, uh, but it's also great to be able to pull on uh, engineers and, and, and executives and leadership that have years in this field that can, that can leverage their knowledge in the, in the enterprise workspace and, and, uh, and the technologies that we're deploying. So how does that impact your roadmap? What are, what are you yeah. looking at? What's kind of your, I hate the one, three, five year thing that's a, forever yeah. in, this, in this world, but yeah. you know, kind of your next road to hill that, that, that maybe yeah. these resources have opened up or you know, releases that are coming out shortly, and then kind of, again, not the long term, but yeah. a couple of you know, medium term goals in terms of your guys' development of where you're going next. Well, we have some exciting uh, announcements that are coming out in terms of where we're deploying Blue Box Cloud, uh, and the, those press releases are coming out, so look, look forward to those. Okay. Do you have any specifics on them? <laughs> um, but uh, we'll be deploying uh, Blue Box Cloud in, in, a, in a lot more pervasive way, leveraging the assets of, of IBM, um, something that a small company like Blue Box itself couldn't, couldn't actually do before, um, now being able to bring to bear the, their assets, if you think about uh, large scale um, hardware and data center provider that they might own. Um, that can that can help us deliver that. So there's a there's a reach aspect to right, that, right. and there's also a velocity aspect. So now we're bringing in additional engineering. We went from really a company of you know 60, 60 65 people before the acquisition to now um, being a part of, of hundreds and thousands in the cloud unit. Um, so that that's really exciting. So we can bring in all the talent necessary and all the resources necessary to hit those roadmaps. So. A, a velocity and a breadth of services. Right. Now, now we have experts in, in areas that we, as Blue Box, could never actually could actually capture. Right. Yeah. So, last last uh, question here to kind of come full circle again to, yeah. to to your journey and you know all the startups you've been yeah. at. Um, you know, you came here, it's been successful, you grew. Yeah. Now you're part of IBM. What's getting you up today? Now that it's kind of a new it's kind of a new day here at Blue Box. What what gets you excited in the morning to come to work? Scale. Uh, the, the number of opportunities that we have in front of us now of being a part of IBM are, are so large and, and, and vast that it's super exciting. Um, before it was being super scrappy and, and, uh, and upsetting the large companies like you know, outmaneuvering uh, HP and Cisco and, and IBM and, and the other companies. That, that's super exciting, but now what we have is an opportunity inside of IBM to really scale it. The, the customers that we're talking to are customers that as Blue Box we'd never really have an opportunity to do. Um, they have an opportunity to talk to, and now we can deploy solutions for them that are well beyond what we what we were really even dreaming of just the last year. So um, that's exciting. Excellent. Well, that's a great that's a great close because scale is what it's all about. Scale yeah. is what cloud computing is all about, and scale is kind of the modern area that we're living in, right? How do we yeah. get these things big and fast? Well, Hernan, thanks for taking a few yeah. minutes out of your day. Um, I'm Jeff Frick. We are in downtown Seattle at the Blue Box headquarters. You're watching the Cube. Thanks for watching.